Dennis Jr. here with Zager Guitars in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, gonna do a little uh, guitar walk around on a new model. Uh, it is, well, not actually a new model, but uh, we don't typically make it in this size. Uh, let me open up the case here so you can see. Uh, this is our Zad 900 CE OM size. This is our flagship guitar. Uh, we've never built uh, an OM size, which is a smaller, it's called a orchestra model. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. I'll pull it out so you can see here. Uh, but we've, we've built our 900 probably for, gosh, over 25 years now. Uh, and we've built it uh, in the smaller OM size, which this is, but we've only done it in a natural finish. And this is our 50th anniversary uh, tobacco sunburst finish. So we've never done one like this. So this is uh, kind of a special guitar. And uh, if you want to know more about the 900 CEOM, as uh, we refer to it, you can look at uh, our guitar walk around for that model, which is the same as this. This is just the 50th anniversary uh, tobacco finish. So same guitar, different finish. Uh, this is an acoustic electric. It's got the uh, built-in Fishman uh, sound imaging system on, on this. And I do have a video on, on, on this specifically too, but it's really cool. Basically, you, it's, it's like a little recording studio built into your guitar. There's really nothing like it on the market today. Uh, we send our guitar in uh, to Fishman multi-million dollar recording studios, and they make sound images uh, of our guitars. And then you can just go and uh, plug into the internet and download those images onto this system here and mix that in with your own playing. So it's very unique. It's like having your own recording studio. And these little things aren't cheap either. I think if the, this retails for about $700 retail if you find them on the web. So it's, it's a pricey little box. They generally put it only in about $5,000, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 guitars. So you could tell it's a very high level. Um, again, this is the smaller OM size. Uh, you'll notice it's got a little bit thinner box size. Um, this makes it, and it, it also has a little bit thinner what we call waist. And when I say waist, I'm talking about from here to here. And because this is narrower with a more hourglass shape, when you get it in your lap, it sinks a little bit lower in your lap so you can get your arm around it easier. And it's for this reason, it's kind of, uh, I, I'll say there's a lot of finger style players uh, who really like OM size guitars. Now the one caveat to an OM size uh, is the uh, sound. Because it's a smaller and thinner box, it's going to have a little bit smaller sound. You lose about 15% in bass and power. So if you're a, uh, uh, if you like rich, deep bass, this guitar does extremely well. Um, you know, we have customers coming from $5,000 guitars every day who are buying this guitar and prefer it. But if you like deep bass, and I, I'm one of those guys, I like deep, heavy, rich, warm, deep bass. I, I like our full-size guitars for that reason. Uh, my dad, on the other hand, you know, he is a consummate finger style player. Um, he, he loves this little smaller box. He likes that he can sit back on the sofa with it and, you know, pull it in a close under your arm. It's just a little bit more comfortable than the full size dreadnought guitars. Um, so, you know, you can go either way with that. Um, I've got customers who own both and, you know, play them both for different reasons. Uh, naturally, I'll, and I'll go over some of the basics here. Uh, you might be wondering what this is. This is one of our humidifiers uh, that we use. You can find them on our website. Keeps, keeps the woods uh, uh, all nice and uh, moist so you don't get drying out and warpage, that sort of thing. Uh, but you'll notice this guitar naturally has the full inlay on it. Um, it's, it's our flagship model. Uh, it's a full rosewood guitar. Um, if you go out on the market, uh, you'll see the uh, top uh, flagship models of virtually all brands are Rosewood and uh, Rosewood it just has the deepest richest sound um, out there and uh, there's, there's a reason all the companies are using Rosewood uh, and it is pricier um, you know it's a it's a harder wood to get and you do pay more for it but you know uh, the payoff is the sound uh, that's a big that's a big thing with Rosewood uh, it's got the Sitka spruce top again probably the number one uh, idea is the number one wood for tops on acoustic guitars in the world today uh, Sitka spruce top with the Rosewood back and sides those are your quintessential go-to woods um, if you're buying a top high-end guitar uh, you'll notice this has all the the inlay skunk stripe uh, down the back you'll notice it has the full satin neck with thin gloss body on it. 
and uh, I've, I've had customers who get this and they can't understand. Um, you see satin sometimes um, on um, oh, some of the mid-range Martins and Taylors, things like that, but you very rarely see a satin neck, which is super smooth, uh, with a gloss body, and that's what this guitar is. And uh, you'll notice we use a very thin gloss finish on our guitars. It protects the guitar, but unlike some of those makers who are, are using a big, thick uh, gloss finish to protect the guitar, um, you impair sound quality that way because the woods don't move as much with a heavy finish on it. So again, that's part of our why we get a bigger sound of our guitars, even on our smaller ones. Um, but again, this is a thin gloss body and then it has a satin finish neck and it joint and this joint is extremely hard to get right and that's why you generally see uh, 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 guitars with a gloss body with satin neck generally you have to be spending about eight nine thousand dollars to get those guitars go look on the uh, online on the web you can see I think uh, Martin D45 does it that's about a ten thousand dollar guitar some very high-end tailors do it but not too many uh, and the reason is it's just you have to be a heck of a builder to get to get those finishes right where they where they join right here so again very rare you only see it on very high level instruments um, some other basics that you'll see on all of our guitars um, we use a natural uh, cow bone saddle uh, on all of our guitars and we use a natural uh, cow bone uh, nut and you would be surprised how many uh, companies are using plastic on these parts, uh, even on some higher dollar guitars. It amazes me. I had a customer bring in one the other night um, who, uh, I'm not going to name uh, a company, but it was a $1,500 guitar and they were still using plastic on it. So plastic, uh, it just does not produce the sound that natural bone does. And we've tried some other materials like tusk and things like that, some higher end technology, but darn it, we always come back to bone because it just sounds the best. So again, full bone um, on, on nut and saddle. And again, my father hand makes each nut and saddle for each particular guitar. You'll notice our string spacing here. It might be hard to see, but you'll see it's got just a little bit more space between the strings. And uh, if you're a uh, bigger fingered player, this can make a world of difference. Just as a little 1 16th of an inch can make the difference between buzzing strings and a nice clean chord. And that's something you'll find on all Zegers, is just that little bit of extra space. And a naturally much lower string heights. You'll notice our strings are very low on our guitars. When you combine this with our bracing system and our, our lower strings and lower pressure, um, all that together makes, makes a world uh, of difference on your playing. Sorry for the noise, we've always got FedEx coming picking up our guitars. Um, other things, I'm trying to think of anything else I can think of on this guitar. Um, that pretty much covers it. Uh, we use a very uh, slim uh, neck design that's very easy to get your hand around. You'll notice here, you'll see our string heights there. Um, I'll just go around it just a little bit so you can see the woods. Each guitar is a little bit different, you know. Each each um, season of woods is different. Sometimes I'll have customers call and say, uh, you know, my brother bought a guitar, then I bought one, and we do a lot of that. Most of our most of our business comes from friends referring friends and family, uh, but they'll say, you know, my woods are a little bit different. Um, you know, each one's unique that way. So, um, but you're getting uh, a very custom guitar. And pull this out here so you can see inside. I highly recommend humidifying. These are full solid wood guitars, so we always recommend humidification. Just one of these little devices plugged in keeps your woods nice and moist. You see this is a brand new 2020 model here. Um, so yeah, and if, uh, if you have any other questions or uh, things like that, don't be afraid to call or email. I am on virtually seven days a week. Uh, we're a family owned and operated business. My Uncle Henry mans our phones uh, five days, six days a week, and um, I'm by email. So if you have any other questions, uh, don't be afraid to call or email, and uh, we will take care of you. All right, take care, folks.